Whether you are watching a movie or your favorite TV series, reading a book, or even a magazine, one of the most prevalent issues in today's society is our susceptibility to believe common day stereotypes. In the movie, Legally Blonde, viewers will find at first glance that Elle Woods fits every aspect of the stereotype of a quote unquote dumb blonde. However, Instead of succumbing to societal viewpoints, Elle decides to challenge herself. Instead of seeking male approval, which was her sole purpose of attending Harvard School of Law, she decides that she will be successful for herself. Although coming to that conclusion follows a very difficult journey of self-acceptance and self-discovery and having confidence in oneself and the ability for a woman to be successful without a man. As you watch Elle's speech to her class as they graduate from law school, you will find that not only has Elle learned the art of the law and been well on her way to becoming a successful lawyer at a successful law firm, you will find that she has learned through her trials and tribulations how to empathize and accept others for their shortcomings and not to judge every book by its cover to introduce this year's class elected speaker. After getting off to a quite interesting start here at Harvard, she graduates today with an invitation to join one of Boston's most prestigious law firms. I am sure we are going to see great things from her. Ladies and gentlemen, L. Woods. On our very first day at Harvard, a very wise professor quoted Aristotle. If you have not watched the movie, you would not understand the full circle moment that comes from Elle's introduction speech from her professor. From the beginning of her time at Harvard, really her, her arrival at the school, that professor was her hardest critic. Now, Elle has earned her respect through her hard work and empathy that is shown through her hug. Elle takes an interesting stance to begin her speech as she alludes back to their first day at Harvard and addresses an allusion to Aristotle made by her professor. This technique brings in her audience and allows them to connect with her and her experience as she began her time at the law school. Well, no offense to Aristotle, but in my three years at Harvard, I have come to find that passion is a key ingredient to the study and practice of law and of life. It is with passion, courage of conviction, and strong sense of self that we take our next steps into the world. Remembering that first impressions are not always correct. She takes an interesting stance as she opposes the ideals brought about by Aristotle. Instead of agreeing with his ideas on passion, Elle has found in her own way that passion is what sets her apart and makes her successful in her work. Not only that, but Elle uses alliterations like courage of conviction and sense of self to continue to make her words pleasing to her viewers' ears. Not only that, but her ideas on how becoming the best version of yourself and learning not to judge somebody based on a first impression will make her successful as she continues about the journey of law and continues to educate others on what she has learned through her own trials and tribulations. And most importantly, you must always have faith in yourself. Congratulations, class of 2004. We did it! It's important to remember the pause in the middle of Elle's speech as she gives readers time to process all that she has to give them. She uses ethos, pathos, and logos in a strategic but yet unique way. For ethos, she's building her credibility and trust as a person with her audience by not only voicing her shortcomings as she arrived at law school, but voicing how she overcame them. Instead of solely talking about herself, 
Elle uses pathos in a way that engages the audience and gives them something relatable to listen to. Emotions, feelings, experiences that they can connect to with her as they all struggled through this process together. Not only that, but she does use her own form of logos. As she learns these lessons, she applies them to life and continues to voice to readers why it is important to have sense of self as you become a lawyer. On her speech, it's very obvious that her purpose is not only to inspire others and teach the lessons that she has learned, but it is also to let them know that having faith in people and not judging by the first look of somebody will help you reach success in life. Elle is not only preaching how to be a good lawyer, but establishing the idea that being a good person is the key most important part of becoming a good person. Elle leaves the stage. She's not afraid to let her girly personality show. As she exclaims, we did it, in a higher pitched voice, she is not only letting others know of her excitement, but unapologetically being herself and embracing her personality. Legally blonde does not mean that you are just another dumb blonde. Legally blonde shows that anybody can be successful regardless of their stereotypes and how they are viewed by others.